The Secretary of State spent six hours on Saturday with Iran's foreign minister. Elizabeth Palmer is in Tehran as the two countries work toward a nuclear deal before that June 30th deadline that Margaret mentioned. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Secretary Kerry and Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif met face to face to try and give some high level political heft to these negotiations, but apparently even that didn't result in any kind of breakthrough over the weekend. The negotiators are wrestling with two very contentious issues. The first is how fast the sanctions against Iran would be lifted. The Iranians want immediate, complete relief. The U.S. wants a phased approach. The second is how much, if any, access international inspectors will have to Iran's military installations to check that they're not developing weapons. The U.S. says access is essential. Iran's supreme leader has said absolutely not. Here in Tehran, where life has got harder under sanctions, people are following the talks very closely. There are occasional protests. Hardliners say a deal means Iran is surrendering to America. And some are in complete denial. Hossein Shariat Madari is a well-known conservative editor. Do you think there will be a nuclear deal a month from now? Hargis. Never. Never? He says never, but millions disagree. Anxious for economic relief and normal ties with the rest of the world, the majority of Iranians are desperate for an agreement. The talks are really coming down to the wire now, and as a measure of the distance that remains, some of the negotiators have publicly said, look, we may need an extension. But the U.S. team, so far anyway, is saying, no, we're still working to have a deal by the end of June. Nora? All right, Elizabeth Palmer in Tehran. Thank you.